Okay, so percentage change. This will definitely come up in your exam, so no point avoiding it. So let's get straight into it. So it comes up quite a lot, and knowing how to do this is really helpful. Usually there is, I think, three different ways you can go about tackling percentage change, and the one I used was knob. So using knob is really helpful. Now, let's take a look at the two main equations that people usually use. So the first one is percentage change, which is final minus original divided by the original amount times 100, or final divided by, one, uh, divided by the original amount minus 1 times 100. The second one is usually more simple. And this is a sort of style of question that you will get in your exam. Obviously a bit more wordy, but I've simplified it for the case of this example here. This is knob. This is the one I used and I found it really helpful. So let's take a look at what knob actually is. So knob is new, so the new value. O is original, B is base, so N is new. So what is actually base? You're probably wondering now. Base is basically the percentage change value but in the decimal form. And I really I really like this because obviously I don't want to faff around multiplying by 100 or dividing by 100. So base is just the percentage change decimal form. So let's take a further look as to what base actually is. Now focusing on base, so let's say for example this doctor right here, he's bought a stethoscope and he's now going to resell the stethoscope but at a 10% increased price. So we've got our original price and we've got our base but how do we calculate the base so because it's a 10% increase 10% increase has a base value of 1.1 you're like okay where does 1.1 come from so he's reselling this stethoscope so he's bought a stethoscope for x amount and he's going to resell it at a 10% increased price so we start off at 100% then we increased by 10% to give us 110%. 110% in a decimal form is 1.10. Hopefully that makes more sense. Same again, if this dude bought like, you know, a car and he's gonna resell it at a 10% decreased price, then obviously he's bought it for an X amount, going to resell it, but at a 10% uh, reduced price. So minus 10%. So start off at 100%, minus the 10% to give us 90%, and 90% as a decimal is 0 0.9. So then 50% increase has a base value of 1.5. 254% increase has a base value of 3.34. Now, this is just the way to go about it. Now, let's say, for example, we want to calculate the percentage change. And so all you have to do is divide the new value by the old value, and this will be your base. Convert that percentage by multiplying by 100, you should be able to do in your head. Subtract 100% from that value, and the plus or the minus will indicate whether it's a percentage change, increase, or decrease. So let's take a look at an example. So let's first draw out knob. Okay, so last year a patient came into your clinic and you measured her height being 190 centimeters tall. Very tall. This year she has come in and you measured her height and she is now 150 centimeters tall. Okay, 150. Now, what is the percentage change in height? So, how do we tackle this? So, we've got our old and new height. So, our old height is 190. Our new height is 150. And according to this, we do new divided by old and that should give us our base value. So let's do that. So doing that gives us 0 0.78947. We can multiply this by 100 in our head, so no need to do this on the calculator. If you do, then you shouldn't be, because this is literally just taking the decimal place and shoving it right here. So then you can multiply this by 100 to get 78.94%, and so today's value is 78.94% of the old value. So then you minus 100, like I said before, to get minus 21.06%, and that is the percentage change. So there's a 21.06% decrease. Let's have a go at another example. So using knob again. Now, if a patient came into your GP clinic and you measured her height being as 140, 
and she tells you that she can't remember her previous height but knows it has increased by 25% since last year what was her height from last year so we don't know what her height is from last year but we know it's increased by 25% so how do we do this so we need to calculate our base so we start off at 100% we know it's increased by 25% so that gives us 125% increase so we add on 25 percent to 100 and then divide this by 100 to give us 1.25 which is our percentage change so in decimal form so this is our base and using knob once again so if we rearrange knob we have the new height which is 140 and the base which is 1.25 and the reasons why it is 1.25 as I mentioned before is increased by 25% since last year so we start at 100% now we increase by 25% to make 125% and then to return this to a decimal it is 1.25 now all we do now is to get the original height from last year is to do 140 divided by 1.25 and that should give us 112 and so last year she was 112 centimeters tall